Okay, let's do a catch up and bring you up to date video. Uh, I've got a young fella named Mason Fox and he talks to me almost every day on uh, Facebook. And I shot him a picture of what I was doing because he asked me the other day and he said, what's in those cabinets? And <laughs> I had just put them up and didn't have anything in them. And I said, ask me tomorrow. So anyway, today's tomorrow. Um, and uh, this is where we are at the moment. I think I showed you all this stuff yesterday. What I probably didn't show you was those cabinets and there's some pictures up there. There's a picture of Daisy. Well, let's just, not Daisy, Ch Charlie. Um, when we were in Maine, we submitted, Honey Baby submitted this picture. And I submitted this picture at the county fair, we both won an award. I think the way they work up there is everybody gets an award that submits a picture. But, uh, and this Washburn picture that I got ages ago for Washburn banjos. And these are pictures from when we used to race. This is the homemade racing team. Um, love and support, etc. Picture of me. Me, younger and fatter, or maybe I might be about as fat as I was then, I don't know, but standing up against the race car. And there's Mickey, he's the driver, it's our first race car, right there. Uh, and this is this car with a different coat of paint on it, crossing the finish line. That's it on the trailer. That's me and Bob LaFontaine, he was a photographer, and I was a writer, and we used to do pictures and things like that for the paper. Um, I don't know if you can see. I've got I've got more pictures of race cars. I got this picture up here of the hot rod in here and so far I don't have anything in this cabinet. This one has oh there's some banjo slides and a pick and um, some little harmonicas and some more harmonicas. Not much. Nothing to nothing to write home about but I'm just getting started. Um, I've got another cabinet like that over here, but it won't fit between these two studs. And I'm actually thinking about maybe cutting a section out of this stud and fitting that in there and then just making a cross piece, like a little cross header, so that I can get that in there. And I've got other pictures up under here that I might like to put up. I've still got a lot of boxes to go through. So I'm making some project progress, but I've still got a ways to go. There's Dad's old Simmons sign. It worked when I loaded it in the truck. We probably will hang it up out here somewhere and uh, get it get it wired in so it comes on when I turn the lights on. I still got a, a ways to go. Uh, one of the biggest tricks. Oh, this this was my old computer that was in the banjo slash computer room. And to be honest with you, I didn't realize I still had this. I had two computers. I had an old HP. I guess the 8P went underwater and I threw it away because it wasn't any good. And I didn't realize that I still had this one, but this is actually a good Apple desktop. Uh, it's got a few years on it, but you know, Apple's, they don't, they don't go bad or wear out or mess up, you know, as long as you don't overfill them with stuff. Um, they just last and last and work and work and go on and on working. So I decided to hook it up down here and I can listen to some music or watch some YouTube videos or even, you know, I could make YouTube videos right from here if I wanted to. So, one of the things I'm doing is every, every day like, like now, it gets hot and sweaty and what I do is go up and put my bathing suit on and get in the pool and I stay in the pool till my body core cools down and then I come back down here with my, with my swim trunks, no shirt usually and my little my little holy water shoes and I just work down here like that if I get hot I go jump in the pool again and that's just about what I'm gonna go do right now I'm gonna go up there and uh, jump back in the pool cool off uh, this golf cart is working amazing well with that lithium battery in it and this solar panel on it uh, yesterday I was out in it all day and when I started it was uh, it was like at 95% battery, and by the end of the day, it was 100%. And it's just charging from the sun, shining on this thing. So it means that when I actually have to plug this thing in, is uh, not 
too very often. I think the last time I did it was a week and a half or two weeks ago. So that sure does make it easy. And I'm using this a lot. If uh, you know, I'm making a lot of trips up and down the hill, and it's not that I don't need the exercise. It's just that if I was making that many trips up and down the hill, you know, on foot, it, I'd be wore out by the middle of the day. But with this thing, I can go up and down the hill. Oh, a dozen, dozen times a day and more, and uh, still have enough energy left to come out here and get some work done. So that's what I've been doing. I went this morning and got gas for the pontoon boat and the hot rods. Uh, Todd's coming tomorrow. I'm pretty sure he's going to want to play around with both. In fact, I might get him to help me and us make some decent video together of the hot rods out on the road. Uh, but for right now, I'm going to go do what I said. I'm going to put on my swim trunks and just go right in the pool.